Can we stop it after each one? Yes. Go pants. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go go crispy white, nice shirt. Go jacket. Yeah. With the white shoes, not the ones. <laughs> Alexander McQueen. McQueens are fine. Although they make gonna make you look taller though, because the McQueens have like a they do got thick. They got thick. I don't thick. like cheating my height. Well, don't don't go McQueen then. But I I love the McQueens though. Mm. They make a great shoe. And I got the white ones. Those are Serene's shoes. The there you go. The all white. So it's like he had to wear them as well. Yeah. So no, I think I'm just wearing the white. And then you could take the jacket off, and now you're just wearing the pants. The jacket is off. The jacket's off immediately. Cause you're on the beach. You made the jacket for a little bit yeah. for the picture. The picture. And then you take the jacket off. So you saying pants? I'm saying pants. Don't go shirt tie. It's too much. Yeah, no tie. And it's no tie. Are you not even tie? I'm going crazy. Oh. But I'm a, I'm the groom. You are the groom. <laughs> but the thing about a beach wedding really helps you out. Yeah. Because Melissa gave you approval. You go nice white. Now you just got basically a shirt and a jacket. Right. That's nothing. Mm. Take your jacket off. You're just wearing pants. Not jeans. No Sucks. hard bottoms. And no black pants. No black pants, no. That's why we made the video, because we were like, this nigga not going to do right. <laughs> I'm not going to do right. <laughs> well, like, you, you're trying to go with something you already have, and we want you to go out for this. No, I was going to go out. Oh, were you? I ain't really got much. I got that Bald Brothers I know, suit I you bought like, me. That's Tony it. got the one black. <laughs> That's all I got. Do you know your size? Yeah, but I think I need to you need your size again for because I'm for always the... getting, getting smaller. Yeah, your shirt. Well, that that black ball brother suit was off the rack, but it fit me great. No, like, it I did. Like that that suit I had on that mm-hmm. ball brother, I hated what I had on in the uh, in the, the headliners on HBO. You always say that. I hated that. That damn Marlon Wayans suit. The way them pants fit. Mm-hmm. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> I didn't watch the set. Really? Yeah, I'll be like the suit. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the way that suit fit on that special. <laughs> no, nah, man, we're gonna take care of you. You want a stylist? Yes. But you want to pay though. Yeah. See, man, you don't, so Tony pricey. don't want to do anything. You, you can't. You can't get him to do the anything. The stylist is pricey. The stylist is pricey, but the stylist gonna take your measurements. You don't have to leave your home. Oh, well, they yeah. gonna come to your house, Ooh. get the measurements. Uh-huh. Then they bring you options. Oh. You can tell them, look, I don't want no, sh- I don't want no dress shirt. I want crispy white. They'll go get it, bring it back, final fitting. Then you just gotta pack it. Wait, so. Who's paying for the stuff they bring? You. Well, they buy it first on their credit card, uh-huh. right? Then they you try the stuff on. Whatever you like, you keep. Then they take it to the tailor. The stuff you don't like, they just go return it. Oh, okay, gotcha. So you don't have to go. Oh, okay, all right. You can show them that video that Melissa and I made. Yeah. Come to my house, mm. and they'll do everything. Okay. And you don't have to go custom suit either. Like, you don't have to spend the money on right. a custom suit. They'll just go to Macy's or Suit Supply. I say, mm. Tony's a 44 long his pants are, you know what I'm saying, 36, right. whatever. Okay. Tell them how you want you if, you. if you're going to wear McQueen's and they'll know where the pants need to break, yeah. you, don't, you know what I'm saying? If you're going loafers, they're going to be a little higher. Right. If you want McQu- I mean, McQueen's probably want them a little higher because they going you don't want them bunching up on the bottom. Then you have the shoes already. Yeah. Then you could just put the outfit on. Save yourself the time. Okay. That sounds that sounds. You're buying, the, you're paying for the convenience. Yeah. And the clothes is the clothes. You're just paying for somebody else to do something you don't want right. to do. Now you don't have to go to the mall. You don't got to do nothing. Yes. Because you know, I don't be thinking good either. I'll be like, man, just, I don't know. Just take the money, come to the house. I just want to come downstairs, yeah. put the stuff on, and then go back upstairs. Yes. I don't want to go to the mall. Uh, oh. Do you have uh, my son? I hate it, man. Oh. I want to go to the mall to get pretzels. <laughs> That's what I like going to the mall. I'll go to the mall and get an Auntie Anne's and leave the mall. Your pretzels be no. so good. Bruh, the smell oh, alone. Yes. I will walk into the mall and go straight to Auntie Anne's. Because I smell it as soon as I, I get I smell it because I'm going by the entrance where I know it's at. I'm not wasting my time going on the other side. I'm going to park by the Auntie Anne's. I'm going to go in there, get a pretzel, and I'm going to go back out. Man. Quickest be beeline good. straight to yes. Auntie Anne's, mm. back out. Melissa could never. <laughs> All right. Fire. Welcome to the Ball Brothers Podcast. Me yes. and Tony be having a good time. Good time. This podcast is just an excuse for us to spend time together. Because mm-hmm. as men, we can't just do it. Right. We got to put some work in it. You got, got the plan. You got the plan. I got to take the boys to the... Man, they're growing. I still got to take <laughs> Get in here and do this work. And now we're just doing what we do via text all the time. I hit Tony, you know what you think about playing at the Aves? We had the same thought on it. Right. 
You need Caesar, man. Caesar was the king. You cannot kill Caesar and just reboot. Noah was not enough. He didn't have the charisma. Proximus Caesar, not enough. Yeah. Caesar is the Caesar and Kobe is a good villain yeah. and yep. hero. Mm -hmm. We was invested in Caesar. Could be, remember when Caesar first talked? We was like, yep. oh! Remember when they no! were having jeans on? <laughs> Like, man, he got Wranglers on. Man, them apes was pissed. <laughs> Dick got jeans on. Y'all see this? He got jeans on. What you man? doing wearing? You wearing pants? Can you imagine? They was like, pants, man? You heard what they said? Caesar got jeans on. What are they called again? Pants. Jeans. Denim? Denim. <laughs> Beat him up for the jeans. They was pissed. He was stylish. Who you think you are <laughs> wearing pants in here? Can you imagine like some, some people being mad at you? You walk in with just pants. <laughs> they like, and they like everybody else naked. Like, who? <laughs> who this is with Wranglers on, man? Hey, grab him and hold him. Take his pants. <laughs> they grabbing him with the feet. <laughs> ah, ah, come on, man. They, they grabbing me with all, with all fours. You can't even move if you grab me with all fours. All fours. Nah, we just want to make sure we had you tucked. <laughs> ah, take the jeans off. Man. <laughs> This pissed that you got on jeans. I gotta grab you with my feet, man. The hands ain't enough. <laughs> Get these feet on you with the same strength of the hands. All right, what we doing? I'm just uh, holding you, man, till the boss gets here. <laughs> How dare you walk Woo! in here with jeans on? <laughs> it's hot in here. All right. We just started. We just, we just yelling. All right, today's episode. <laughs> The top 10 Marvel characters who you think would be good at Spain. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now, Spades. Tone knows how to play Spades. Uh -huh. I know how to play Spades. Mm -hmm. You got to be smart. You got to be quick-witted. Right. You got to talk trash. Because y'all don't know, talking trash is actually a, it's a skill in Spades. Yeah, Because you sure. can talk somebody into making a bad mistake. Absolutely. Because Mel and Greg, me, uh, we was playing Spades at Danny's house one time. Uh-huh. And Mel and Greg was about to win. Yeah. And I'm talking crazy. Bid high, nigga. Y'all ain't got it. No, nah, go up there and get it, nigga. Y'all go bid seven, bid seven. No, no, we were going to go six. Oh, y'all niggas weak. Because I'm like, if they bid, if we right. can set them, that's our only chance. Right. So I talk them into bid seven. Was y'all playing sandbags or no? We playing bags. Yeah, okay. We playing, because you ain't playing bags, you ain't for real. Right. There ain't no, ain't no. <laughs> it's, it's I'm a bid right. four. And you yeah, eight. man. You got to pay the price for that. Bid for real yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they bid high. Yeah. Got them set. I said, y'all going to argue in the car. I hit him up the next day. I was like, did y'all argue? I was like, yes. Because <laughs> Mel was playing scared. Yeah. They didn't want to bump heads. Uh -huh. And I was like, that's what's wrong with y'all. That's what I'm saying. You got to have some trash talking. Right. All right. So I think I went first on the last one. So who you going, Tone? Who's you, the first Marvel character for Spade? You got to go Remy LeBeau. Off the rip. Off the rip. He walk around with playing cards <laughs> on him. Gambit, if you don't know his government name. Yeah. Gambit is the ultimate space person. Mm -hmm. Off top. That's his whole brand. He's like, nigga, if you don't pick me, I don't know what y'all think. What you thinking, man? This he, my whole, and he from Louisiana? He from Louisiana. He going to talk that shit. He got mad personality. He got decks of cards <laughs> in his hand as soon as he see you. What's up, Mona Me? He's shuffling for no reason. Hey, now nah, it's too fade. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Gumbo, gumbo. He's just yelling out Louisiana food. Louisiana turns, no limit records, cash money, Lil Wayne, Birdman, uh, Remy, French. Etouffee, y'all. <laughs> Etouffee. Essence Fest, y'all. Essence Fest. Jill Scott, Erica Badu, headliner. <laughs> grits. <laughs> Savory, though. Oh, yeah. Savory. Strippy grits. And yeah, you gotta have Gambit on there, man. He gonna he gonna blow the table up when he when he win. <laughs> he charge. Boom. You imagine him with the big oh joker. Oh my god. Oh, he charging it up. <laughs> Remember it. <laughs> Bow. The whole table explodes. <laughs> Everybody, just, Everybody, everybody covered in like. Ah, Gambit, stop doing that, man. <laughs> Everybody's dead. Stop doing that. We want. We gotta play another hand. I get man. excited, Mona. Me. I get first, excited. The first hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's just legs, feet, elbows. Gambit just sitting in there. Road come in. Gambit, puff of smoke. Hey, Cher. Remember they it. They couldn't handle the big Joker. <laughs> Is that your New Orleans accent? No. I'm trying to tap into it. I don't know they what could have handled the big joke. He could have handled the bigger joke, baby. Huh? What do you want from me, huh? <laughs> Gambit's Italian now. <laughs> Funny how? Funny how? Do I amuse you? Huh? Uh, 
I'm hot, man. <laughs> we can't run the AC in here. We can't? Can we? Yeah, man. Turn it on. AC is I'm a too weird 70. Life. All right. You gotta have Gambit though. Gambit's First number one. Absolutely. Okay. I'm going Professor X. Okay. He gonna cheat. I mean, is it cheating or are we using powers? We using powers? I mean, that's what we calling you. We ain't going off the strength. You're just human. Oh, we're using power. No, okay. Now, because right. again, part of part of spades is reading the board. Yeah. But if I know what you have in your hand, I mean, shoot. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I ain't got no. Y'all really finna be sick. Is he, he cheating? So no. he gonna be in. <laughs> he gonna be, he gonna it would be, be cold if Professor X sat there with Cerebro <laughs> on. I'm like, wait, you use a Cerebro? Nah, <laughs> nah. No, no. No, I would never. I'd just be wearing this. I sometimes. would never. It's all about integrity, students. <laughs> students, I would never use Cerebro for personal gain in space. Oh, my. <laughs> Cerebro <laughs> sliding down. What do you mean? I would never, students. Come on, y'all. Come on, It's now. Big Charles. It's me. Man. It's Chuck. You know? Chuck. <laughs> like, yo. Oh, my God. For sure, Professor X. All right. Okay. <laughs> Big Chuck, man. Big I, Chuck. I would never. I'm going to step out of the X-Men realm. Okay. I'm going to go Bullseye. Bullseye? Bullseye. He carries like, he can cut your throat with a card. Who Bullseye? Bullseye is Daredevil. Comic main. book? Yes. He's Daredevil's has he nemesis. Made in the, has he made any live action stuff? He's in, he's in, uh, he's in he was in the... Uh, the Daredevil series on Netflix, and he's so also he the second season? Colin Farrell played him in uh, the Daredevil movie. But yeah, Bulls, I don't know. I ain't gonna hold, yeah. hold you. He'd be out there with the playing card. He can cut you through with it. He'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> he's familiar with them cards. Got it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go Storm. Just because she black? 1,000%. I don't see Storm playing cards. She it was, Storm don't play around, period. That's what I'm saying. She's above it all. I don't see her playing no games. But I feel her, she going to be like, <laughs> fit to be set, she going to be like, by the power. <laughs> she definitely going to get dramatic. <laughs> like she pulling the big joker from the sky. It's coming down in a tornado. <laughs> The ancestors say I have the big joker. <laughs> then lightning comes through the venue. Oh, oh. Then she just be like, bow. Everybody's hair is like standing up. Like Marv. Man. Then when Marv got me Oh, hell yeah. Long, 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 too. <laughs> <laughs> they could be sitting there in sandbags, set. Because I sure. thought about Storm. I was like, I don't see Storm playing nothing. I'm going to talk to her. <laughs> I'm gonna be like Aurora. Listen now, come on for the blacks. You got you got Professor X and Gambit. She you know, like, Gambit basically the Paul Wall of the X Men. We don't play spades in Africa. Because <laughs> she she, hit you she is that. Africa more than mm-hmm. black. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. She's like, African. She's African. That's why I I didn't I didn't pick the child well, either. Yeah, he 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 got business to do. He's man. a king, man. He's, He's playing king, spades. He playing cards, nigga. What are, what? The, excuse me. I got stuff to do, man. Every time every time his subjects. Are- I want to take a quick break from the show to tell you about one of our sponsors, Blue Chew. It really needs no introduction. You've seen the ads. You've heard us talk about it a million times, and I bet there's a big part of you, pun intended, that wants to try it. What am I talking about? Blue Chew. That's right. This isn't your grandpa's blue pill. This is the one, the OG chewable tablet for better sex. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same effective ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but at a fraction of the cost and in chewable form. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive a prescription within days. Blue Chew tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped directly to your door. The best part, it's all done online. That means no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. <laughs> Blue Chew wants you to have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com slash bald. All right, now listen, I'm a man of age, 41. Sometimes that peen don't be peening, and I want it to peen. The coochie is ready, but I got to have something hard to put in it. We all need a little help, all right? Need a little help in that department to uh, 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 rise to the occasion or to reach my maximum potential, and I use Blue Chew. Blue Chew wants the entire country rock hard, they told me. That's it. That's the mission. They will not stop until every man is bricked up like a brick house, till every tennis pitch, till every rod is raised, till every peen is peening. Discover your options at bluechew.com. 
and we got a special deal for you. Try Blue Chew free when you use the promo code BALD at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code BALD. Visit Blue Chew for more details and more important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Play a space. Like, hey, hey, break this up, man. Let's get to work. Let's get to work, man. We running the kingdom here. Y'all sitting here playing spades. Oh, my God. The door, the door of Melange is like, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You right about that. They just got the spear to the side. <laughs> the spear You're right, man. You're, You're right. right. That's my bad, bro. Absolutely. My, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna say this right now. I, I don't want to be embarrassed. I wasn't a big comic book reader. Uh-huh. So when the Black Panther trailer came out, Everybody knew everything. Yeah. And I was like, who, who's the child? Why? How, who, which one was that? <laughs> you didn't know his real name? I didn't know his real name. You didn't see uh, Civil War? No, no. I'm talking about, well, I mean, the first he was introduced. Not oh, the Black Panther. okay. Gotcha. The first time he was introduced, yeah. I knew of the Black Panther. Uh-huh. Like, I knew, like, he was in the comics. Right. But I didn't know T'Challa, T'Chaka. Like, yeah. I don't remember him on no cartoons in the 90s or mm. nothing. Like, I, I never was a comic book reader. Yeah. We don't really have that many comic book stores in El Paso. And then I did have it. We didn't have the money to go. El Paso. Why are you always be doing uh, this? <laughs> you just proved that the city is whack. That they had no comic book stores? I said we didn't have a lot. <laughs> we had like one middle on the other side of town, the rich people part of town. Oh, my Tony yeah. hates El Paso, y'all oh, know, wow. because it's big. El Paso. He said just it's because... big for no reason. No personality. It's big because no it has a, a military base. That's nah, why it's man. big. And the cartel. It's the two things that got El Paso Shrek. going. <laughs> the cartel on one the side. The cartel is in Waters, though. Mm. Waters is reaping the benefits on that. Absolutely. Well, not the benefits. You know, no disrespect. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So who was up? Mm. It's you? Mm-hmm. I did Gambit. You did. Uh, oh yeah, Professor, Professor X. Bullseye Storm. So you're up. I'm gonna go Luke Cage on the strength that he's from New York. That's he why black. He hood. <clears throat> yeah. He bald. He went to prison. <laughs> he, he was in prison. You know what I'm saying? His skin is unbreakable. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna put Luke Cage up in that thing on the yeah. space table. He gonna he gonna tear the table up when he <laughs> slammed down that big Joker. Just gonna just cut it in half. <laughs> like yeah. what? You got the please? Yes. But uh, Luke Cage, I, for I'm sure. with you. I'm with you. For sure. I'm going to go out the box. Okay. I'm going to go Iron Man. Tony? Robert Downey Jr. It's got to be Robert Downey Jr. Got to be Robert Downey okay. Jr. Because uh-huh. the way he talked trash gets under your skin. Yeah. If you can get under your opponent's skin, you can force him into mistakes. He's going to eat Captain America oh. alive. <laughs> he going to eat piss Steve him off. alive at and this he, table. Every verbal spat always yeah. end with Captain America wanting to fight. Uh, yeah, for sure. To just fight there. No, nah, no, nah, we talking trash. Remember that little argument they had? Uh-huh. He just tore that log in half. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Tony was just like... That's what we do. What would you be without that, too? I don't know. Billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. What, 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 what without that stuff, then? <laughs> he said it like he wasn't going to have nothing. He was not ready for that. He was just <laughs> like, like well, what would you be without that, too? I'm a billionaire, playboy, <laughs> philanthropist. Like, I'd just be an old-fashioned white man <laughs> from the 40s. It was so funny because he answered so fast. I don't know, yeah. a billionaire, playboy, philanthropist? Steve Well, <laughs> what would you be? Small, small, I mostly small, little, and probably dead. And old-fashioned. <laughs> it just, you know. You know what I'm saying? But I could do this all day. You're right. That's my thing. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. <laughs> on your left. I mean, just, just, just beat it, Steve. <laughs> you were souped up. I need trash talker. And Iron Man also is smart. He's pragmatic. For sure. He's going to be reading the board. You got to read the board. Because sure. Spades actually isn't a hard game. Right. But it's the strategy and reading the board. Mm-hmm. People need you need to read the board. Right. I need you to know why you threw off. Yep. And pay you attention to what was already played. Yeah. He's gonna be using Jarvis. Yeah. Jarvis, what's the probability they got the big joker? Well, Tony, okay. Well, you nigga, you ain't got it. Well, not nigga, but you know what I'm saying? But he probably said it. Bow. Bow. With the help of Jarvis? Yeah. Jarvis is coming in. Jarvis coming in for the <laughs> Like, take your helmet off, Tom. <laughs> nah, man. I, I ain't using Jarvis. <laughs> He just got on the helmet and nothing else. Why you got the helmet on, Tom? With the no, wife just, beater. It's cold in here. <laughs> you got the wife beater on. It's cold in here. He definitely, Jarvis is in there. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Percentage, you taking the temperature reads of everybody else at the table. That would help. Uh, temperature rolls. Oh no, there. Tony, his heartbeat goes up seven BPMs when he got when he got heavy space. Okay, that's information I need to know. If your helmet ain't on, why your eyes lit up just now? <laughs> uh, did they? I, I ain't do nothing. I ain't press nothing. I'm 
be having the time of my life with Man. Tony Baker. <laughs> All right, who you got? Okay, so so we got Gambit, Bullseye, Luke Cage. Now, I'm going to go. <laughs> this is just pure. I just want to see <laughs> the arm slam stuff down. Cable. Cause he got he got that he got that mechanical arm. I just want to see him. <laughs> with that, <Wow. laughs> every, every, he only put the cars down with his mechanical cyborg arm. Dude. Bow and his eye light up. <laughs> he got that eye that can light up. So whenever he just like, yeah, I got to cut you. Bow. <laughs> just destruction. Like cable man, chill, dog. Play, play with your regular arm. Hey, everybody uh, arguing. Play with your regular <laughs> arm, Cable. Like, nah, man, I'm from the future. Bow. He I opened up with the Ace of Clubs. <laughs> he opened up with the Ace of Clubs. Just like, <laughs> bloop, collect. I love Cable, too, man. Yeah, Cable. It was good in the X-Men 97, spoiler alert. It was like, we had the baby. They was like, nigga, he's in the future. He, he came said, back a man like the, 10 minutes later. 10 was minutes like, later. Mom, dad, you got five minutes. Who are you? I'm your son. I'm your son. But baby. listen, listen, we don't have time for we'll Genosha, that later. Man. You know what? Never mind. I'm going to throw you on the grill <laughs> later for this. Because he definitely gave Scott the business. <laughs> like, yeah, you punk ass dad. <laughs> what you want from me, man? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I rose myself. Also, Jean Grey, I cried. This wasn't meant to be funny, but uh, I laughed. When he was dreaming about the other Jean Grey, and oh, she came she in his mind. Oh, she in? Nigga, what you doing in here? Oh, you dreaming about psychoactive oh, version of me? Oh, my God. Kicked her out. Kicked oh, Madeline out. Get her. Excuse me, Madeline. In his oh, mind. Oh, your baby mom. Oh, you dreaming about your baby mom because you didn't know that wasn't me. Wow. Wow. So now you dreaming about other versions of me? I could never date. What a are you woman doing? With those what are you doing in that moment with her? I, There's no logic. You constantly in hot water. There's no way you can lie. How she get in your mind? She was in there. Oh! <laughs> well, well, well. He's like, girl, it was, I didn't know you had you until. Like five minutes Come ago. Come on, you got to give me a chance to wean off. Let me wean off <laughs> Let me wean. of Madeline. That's I thought my Madeline mom. was you. That's my baby mom. Gene can't be mad at the situation. It was, the, the, as a man, I was like, this is what we be doing. <laughs> this is what we be talking about. Because <laughs> in her mind, she's fully justified. Yeah. She all up in the crevices. Man. Look at all these synapses firing on this other woman. You know what? But the Scott? other woman is you, technically. No, but it's not me, Scott. And you should have known it wasn't me. You should have known it wasn't me, Scott. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but it was literally you. <laughs> she didn't even know. Right. They she was testing was each other. They was like, you was fooled as well. So, but what I... that mean? <laughs> what that mean? I was fooled as well. Explain that. <laughs> Come yes, on, Andre. Nah, you got it? <laughs> nah, go back in your mind with the other psychic. Wrong psychic, Scott. But the psychic is you. No. Nah. Uh, now I'm the phoenix. No, no, no. Now I'm going to blow up the whole earth because you done pissed me off. Matter of fact, I'm picking Jean Grey since we talk about it. Jean Grey is Because you space. need a loose cannon. <laughs> you need somebody who you don't know we're going to end up fighting over space. Man. No. Now I'm the Phoenix. Her and Charles going to be going at it. Oh, my God. In this game. For sure. Oh, they just, they the, be... the other two players are going to be sitting there. <laughs> they going to be like, I don't know what to do. They already know what we're going to do before we even do it. I don't even know no, what to do. No, no, no. Don't play that. Don't play that. No, no. Let them play that. No, no, no. You don't play that. They just going to have the gun. They're going to be like, I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Nose bleed. <laughs> Nightcrawler going to be like, I, I don't know. I just believe in God. I just believe in God. <laughs> just God help me. <laughs> hey, in my mind. <laughs> Hey, in my mind. <laughs> You're going to be shook. This is such a silly topic. Oh, man. All bad. right, your last one, Tone. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, no, we got one more each. Oh, do we get one more yeah, each? Yeah. After this? So we got mm. two more. This is your last one. Because oh, right. you went Gambit, right? I did Gambit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is eight, nine, and ten. Okay. I thought about throwing Blade in there just because he's black and he hang out late at night. And, you know, when you be up late, you just got to occupy your time with games sure. and such. And sure. him and Whistler just be playing spades, you know, because vampires ain't going to be active every night. And so Blade going to have them nights nice, like, ain't nobody out tonight. I went to the club. They wasn't there. 
the, the, the club the club was closed down because they was cleaning it because the hepatitis outbreak. So he just lays so the sword just, down on the table. Just, uh, he uh, took his shades off. He just sitting there whistling. Let's play some spades. But ah. but I'm a, I'm gonna throw in the grandmaster because that's what he does. The, the grandmaster, grandmaster was played by Jeff Goldblum and and. Uh, Ragnarok and stuff like that, but in the comic oh, books, yeah, 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 yeah. He is all about gamesmanship. That's yes. what he does. That's the reason why he lost a, a gem, one of the Infinity Gems, because he yep. played a game with Thanos and yep. lost. And so he's the gamesman. He's he's all about. He you rem he reminds me of that dude in the Princess Bride, yep. the ball headed guy. <laughs> they thought he was just clever as hell. <laughs> and so <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna throw in. I'm gonna throw him in on the on the sheer strength. I'm with you. He you buy these games. All right, my last one. Mm -hmm. Nigga Bird. Falcon? Falcon. <laughs> Nigga black. Bird is black from New Orleans and regular black. He is from New Orleans. He regular he regular went to New black. Orleans with the boat, no power. And he was in the military. So they they be Come playing on, cards man, in the that's military. That's all they do. Yeah, for sure. You know, sure. and Anthony Mackie don't really, he be not liking people with just, don't take no picture, man. He's oh, serious yeah. business. Yeah, don't take no picture. Nigga Bird gonna be nice. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be playing in spades. What? He gonna be going no, his books black off. military? You can't tell me he ain't nice. Yeah. And plus, he don't have no powers. Right. You know what I'm saying? His powers is with the nigga birdness of it all. <laughs> and nigga birdness? <laughs> so nigger he really got to have the human element. For sure. If you got no powers and you fight the Infinity War, you ain't wired right. Right. Like, you up there with just the wings. With just the wings. If they take your suit off, <laughs> you just hang out. Thanos. Yeah. Now what? I, I, you, you, you know what I'm saying? We, we could run spades for yeah. her. Him and Tony just sitting there, no, no mechanics. <laughs> he took his suit, he yeah. took the wings. Him and Tony just posted up. War Machine tried to come in, they take his armor too. Nah, nah all three of them just all sitting there. All three of y'all start in the streets. <laughs> just <laughs> y'all have no stuff. You dealing with, you dealing with uh, Wanda the Scarlet Witch, right? Who had Thanos not had the rain down the stuff. She won me one was finna finish Thanos off. She was. He, he, she, he was like, who are you? Yeah. Oh, you about to find out. You about to find out. You dealing with people like that and you just got wings on? Wings on. You a glider? Just store bought. The man is in Black Widow's <laughs> pew. She's the one dude from Harlem Night. Pew. You know what? Pew. That's who I should have put in there. Scarlet Witch. She probably would be good. Because her, her powers are based on pro probability. Initially, before they expanded everything to have mm -hmm. her do everything, probability was her main problem. So she was just sitting there hexing it up. She going to get the the big, the little. Oh, my God. She getting the deuce. She getting the ace. <laughs> the, now she getting the running. king. Y'all going to joke, joke her deuce, deuce. She getting all four. She going to have an ace of clubs, sure. the ace of diamonds. <laughs> All, all space. Who dealt this? <laughs> no, nah, man. Y'all using your Wanda, power. Wanda, you using your power. I'm what? Not, what? Not Why? That. Is this even our reality? Why? <laughs> Vision, stop. I'm playing legit. Stop. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? The thing I liked about Wanda as a villain, in that movie, they really didn't do nothing. At the end, it was just like, look at your kids. Right. Look at how they look at you. This is crazy. You should really stop. Because we can't beat you up. Look what you're doing to them. Look at what you're they doing had to nothing the for her. For they real. ran from her for the whole time. Yeah, they did. He had the dead people. They, until they was like, look. That's look, the at, <laughs> look at these babies. Look at these kids, man. Do you, you ruined it. The... Come on, man. That's, that's, that was their plan. She was like, you right. <laughs> She I'm going to take myself out. Yeah, that's a good idea. She was just like, yeah, I was tripping. <laughs> that's it. That that's was, it. That was it. It was nothing. They if them do. kids, they couldn't find the kids, it was game over. They Every time they did the stuff, she was like, boys, don't piss me off. For real, don't piss me off, man. Oh, dog. Don't piss me off. She was, right. she was a good villain, too. She was great. I loved it. I loved her more. I loved it more in the show. Yeah. But in the Doctor Strange movie, I was like... Mm, it was a little scary too. I she was scary. That's she, the way. That's what they lost. You. Boy, when them zombies came up, JoJo was like, huh. and I was like, <laughs> and she was moving. Remember when she was limping? Tall. Yeah. I was. They like, made her creepy as hell. Hey man, I loved it though. Hey y'all, well, we got to do stuff like this. I loved it. Well, we got to do stuff like this. Why can't we just do regular fighting nah, and man. stuff? It was wild for she her. She was killing. She was killing Mr. Fantastic, Black Bolt. <laughs> she killed everybody. She was killing the Black cat. lady got killed.
yeah. Black lady was hanging in there. The but silent it wasn't mouth. Enough. The clo- she closed the mouth. Yeah. They just came in tub. Yeah, yeah. we in here. You gonna have to get through us. Black boy was like. <laughs> She got through that in like five minutes. She covered his Jim mouth. was in there. He looked at the camera. He was like, <laughs> she killed everybody. <laughs> everybody. It really was like, well, dang. Can you imagine your 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 sole purpose is a black bolt? Just come in and say something. All you got to say is one word. We're going to take our ass. I got, we well, can't even say I got this. He just like. <laughs> he was like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> she neutralized everybody fast. Done. The show is sponsored by BetterHelp. What are your self-care non-negotiables? Maybe you never skip le- leg day or therapy. That's one for me. When your schedule's packed with kids' activities, big projects, and more, it's easy to let your priorities slip. Even when you know what makes us happy, it's hard to make time for it. Even when you feel like you have no time for self, non-negotiables like therapy are more important than ever. All right? I have totally benefited from therapy as a person, as a husband, as a father, as a business owner, as a friend, as a highly functioning high maintaining athlete it's helped me in every single way i can't recommend it more i do it weekly and have for years and i'm a better person for it and i'm a better person because of it and i want you to have that same experience all right if you're thinking of start therapy give better help a try it's entirely online designed to be convenient flexible and suited to your schedule just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge never skip therapy di- never skip therapy day with better help visit betterhelp.com slash ball brothers today to get 10% off your first month. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P, H-E-L-P dot com slash Bob Brothers. And now back to the show. Done. All right. Here's our final list. You're not switching out Blade, right? You're going to stay with Grandmaster Jeff? I'm going to go with Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch instead of Grandmaster? Yeah. All right. She, she had the hex and ability with the probability joint. All right. So we got Gambit, mm-hmm. Professor X, all these best Marvel characters who be good at space. Gambit, Professor X, Bullseye, Storm, Luke Cage, Iron Man, Cable, Jean Grey, Scarlet Witch, and Nigger Bird, a.k.a. Falcon. <laughs> Nigger Bird is wild. <laughs> wild. <clears throat> now we got top huh? top bald actors. Should we do 10 or Mount Rushmore? Oh. And we going full bald, or or does the Cody with the with the silly missing count as bald? That counts as bald. Okay, because Jason Alexander was out there with that. Yeah. They always mention him being bald, but he wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Black right. men usually go full bald. Right. So what you want to do, 10 or 4? Let's go 10, man. Yeah, let's do ball 10. representation yeah. on the ball. We got to get man. all the balls. We are more than 4. Right. All right. Who's you that? first is that. Okay, now let me ask you this. Uh-huh. Can they be bald now? Or do they have to do their work as bald? Because I'm asking, because Morris Chestnut is now bald. Are we going bald work forward? Are we going career as bald? Does the work count when you had hair? The, the majority of the work needs to be bald. So you gotta be you gotta be living ball, living ball. Because I feel like Morris Chestnut finally gave up. But when you think about his iconic role, it was with the hair. Ricky, he had the box. He had the best box. man. He was slick. You know, he had the, yeah, yeah, the fade. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, "I'm bald now." Okay. I feel like he. I feel like he came in too late. Because <laughs> you can start out with hair early on, but then when you embrace the ball early, yeah. Like Michael Jordan had hair early on. Yeah. But, but it went bald early. When you think about Jordan, though, you think about bald, the bald is iconic. Okay, so okay, let me recalibrate. Uh-huh. I was gonna go Big Mo. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Jason Alexander was putting on for the balls uh, early. He was. He was putting on he for the balls. He was getting women in Seinfeld. He was. He was doing work. He was dating as out a there short, bald, fat. He was getting. He, he could have had Marissa Tomei. He had her. <sighs> Had her. He had a hook. And he went Cody early. Mm-hmm. No comb over, no just for me. I'm out here straight. Short, stocky <laughs> bull. He always said <laughs> he would own it. He stood in his baldness. He knew what it was. All right, I'm with Jason Alexander. I like that. All right. Good choice. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw uh I'm gonna throw Damon Wayans in. Good. He went bald a long time he ago. W- did he have? What? Oh, he had hair. What Saturday Night Live? He had hair probably SNL. Like I'm gonna get you sucker. And then I feel like during and living color, 
is when he was like, yeah, Ball. he had a little bit, yeah, 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 yeah. He was just like, you know what, okay. Nothing. And then by the time we get to Mo Money, Last mm -hmm. Boy Scout, he was Ball, big McGee. Ball, big Ball, Major Pain, iconic role Yo, as the absolutely. Ball. Absolutely, he is Major Pain with the full absolutely. Ball. Absolutely, I'm with you on that. He was killing it for the Ball. <laughs> yeah, something to look forward to. Okay, I'm gonna Hell go. Yeah. Charles S. Dutton. Oh yes, Rock. Rock. Do you remember that episode where he choked up Clinton? Yes. He, uh, Clifton Powell? Yes. If y'all watched that episode, <laughs> I think <laughs> Clifton Powell underestimated. He did. Because he said Charles. He did. He choked up. He's like, Charles. Charles. <laughs> and then he went back in the character. They're not cutting. <laughs> Cameraman at the record was like, <laughs> keep rolling. <laughs> the studio audience was in there. Keep he was rolling. The audience was all in. <laughs> They were shooting live in front of a studio audience. For sure. Because sometimes Rock Rock had live episodes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they pulled back been and one, the camera yeah. movie there. Yep. And you see that the house ain't really big when you, right. when you pull back. It's you just, pull back like, oh, this? Yeah, anyway, I thought yeah. we was in Baltimore in your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here? And also, one of my favorite gifs is him as in Rudy at the end where he's like, oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> for clapping hard. <laughs> Proud. The proud the ball clap. I use that chip all the time. Mm. <laughs> and Charles S. Dunn deserves more. So, yeah, right. all right, Charles Where S. Dunn. Yeah, at the house. All right. So, I'm going to go with Jason Statham. That's, that's good. Got to put him up in there, man. You got to. Ball. He don't even, he don't even do a complete ball. Mm -mm. He, he leads the sides and the back. He's just like, this is what it is. <laughs> and we don't even care. Some people were born to be bald. Yeah. You was born to be bald. I was. You embraced the bald early. Mm -hmm. Jason Statham, he I can't imagine him with hair. Can nah, you imagine him with the they with won't the even, they won't even hit the same? He wouldn't be scary I'd as be the like, driver. Man, who is this? Who is this with the with You the need the over? you need it. Yeah. I need the like, dang man, what, what, what kind of drive? He always looked. Like he just woke up, mm -hmm. like he got the raggedy yep. the five o'clock shadow. He got this going, and then, the, but we don't question the even, even fathom, even thinking about the sides in the back. Cause he always lead the sides in the back. <laughs> but to me, it's it's pure ball. Black men used to go sides and back way more yeah, in the eighties. Oh yeah, and then 70s, like seventies, eighties, they'll go full Cody. Yeah, Sherman Helmsley. Yeah, I might as well throw him in. <laughs> he went full Cody. <laughs> That he made did. him look older than he than he was. He was younger than Wheezy for sure. Yeah, it was like thirty seven. But, man, that, but the this, Cody man, cul-de-sac ages you. Bro, with the Cody fro. Let me tell you something. You going if, full Cody? If I go four days without shaving, <laughs> you, that adds you, five years. You start to walking ball. like Trevor Hills. Tough. <laughs> let me go five days. I age considerably. Let me go. Let me go ten days without shaving this head. Tony is now 86. This is you on four days. Oh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> four days of no more. Tough. Me walking my five miles. Walking tough. Why was he walking like that, dude? <laughs> he did the jump rope, Tom. He did. And he had the back. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. He was He was 25. <laughs> During this intro, <laughs> my, when mine grows in, I just have terrible hairline. Yeah, because I can grow hair, but it's just gonna be Lego helmet. <laughs> just gonna be straight. My hairline was like, what if we all met right here and just go straight down? Which is terrible. Cause so, you got the ball for real on top. Yeah, cause cause it's it's, it's slowly just it's further going back. Like yeah. If I if I let it grow out now, I don't know what it would look like, but I just be feeling it. And I feel be like smooth. I feel the dead spot. Yeah. And so it's just like, you know, like if I if I was to let it grow out naturally, it's it's a it's a wasteland. <laughs> it's Mad Max <laughs> beyond tumble, Thunderdome, tumble dog. Oh, it's what are you doing around these man, <laughs> it's, it's Chernobyl. It's it's goddamn. There's no water over here. <laughs> it's radiation signs up. There's nobody there. It's, it's like they just abandoned it as it was because there was a radiation meltdown. So it's still toys out there. The yeah. one little dog yeah. with the arm off? Yes. <laughs> Why the arm came off? Always it was the a arm blast. missing. The eyes never work right. It's that baby from Toy Story, the big baby. Yes. <laughs> it's that. If I let my hair grow out. Ah. It's abandoned apartment buildings, all that. <laughs> Tough. 
right, you're up, Tom. Am I up? Yeah. I okay. Just Sherman, I threw Sherman Helms. Oh, Sherman Helmsley. You got to throw The Rock in there, man. The Rock. Once he embraces balls, does he balls McGee now? So, wait, when did he? Okay, so Scorpion King, he had hair. Mm hmm. And then I feel he, like he had hair in Walking Tall, too, didn't he? I'm trying to think when we first came full ball. Did he have hair in Walking he Tall? He had hair in the rundown. He had hair in Walking Tall. He went bald. Was it, was it Hobbs when he came in as Hobbs? No, he was bald before that. Was he? Was he? Was he bald Let's as a look tooth at fairy? His... No, I feel like he had... Because remember, he kept going low, 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 yeah. low. And then he came in... Was Hobbs the, the intro to the bald? I remember... See, he was also doing the wrestling, too. Hold on. Let's All right, we'll take him off. No, no. He's, but he's had a lot of work from bald. For sure. For, and his better stuff has been yeah. bald. He I'm became just, he became a box office giant. As the ball. As ball. That's what that's that's why we need the clarification. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because his best work is his ball. Because Scorpion King was, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, that rock. was his was his terrible. act his acting has improved considerably terrible. since then. So I feel like he's coming to the I was just more curious curious when did he was like when he debuted on the big screen. where's his filmography? I'm about to pull it up. Let me yeah, see. Let me look at that. Dwayne Johnson. Okay, let's pull up. Let's pull up the filmography. <laughs> yeah, that filmography. I can be like, he was bald. He was bald <laughs> in the Gridiron game for sure. All right, here we go. Filmography. All right, not wrestling. Yeah. Wait, where is filmography. it? Oh, main article. Dang, he got main article yeah, filmography. Sure. Okay, man, I can't. All right, All right, mummy turns hair, hair. The other guys, he was bald. Him and Sam Jackson, yeah. who Toothberry. See, Click little hair, little hair, hair, hair. Toothberry. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Little hair. That might have been the end of it. I think it was. 2010, so he's been bald since then. Because the other guys. The other guys, he was bald, for sure. Faster, Fast Five. Faster, he was bald. What's Faster? That's the movie where he was getting revenge for the cats that killed his uh, brother. He loves a movie with a long road. Yeah, and he has a lot of posters where there's a long road <laughs> behind long, him because he was just driving around getting revenge on all the cats responsible for his brother's death. Yeah, and I he was bald that. in that. Bald that was his first starring role as bald, as complete bald. So that's 2010. So, so, so he been he been bald the last since then. 14, 13, 14 years. He's been with the ball. And he's had major major stuff success. All right, so The Rock, it's fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna go Jaimon Hounsou. Okay, okay. Solid work. He been bald forever. Bruh, since I'm a star. Even before that, the Janet Jackson video, Love Will Never Do Without You. That was my intro to him. Oh, snap, that is him he on was the young. Bald then. And he was probably in videos even before oh, that. Sure. He but had he was that bald. like they was just casting. He was perfect him. for black and white videos. Yeah. His dark skin. <laughs> and the contrast of man. You know what I'm saying? And he had that certain like he just looked like he wasn't from here. Yeah. Where is he from? I don't know. Oh, he's just, he's, you know he's Jaimon. Yeah. You don't pronounce the D. No. The he's, D is just he's, hanging out. <laughs> the D is just like, hey, I want to introduce you to the rest of my name. <laughs> he just didn't even. Yeah, didn't this even is J I M O N N. No, they cool. Really, don't worry about I'm, me. I'm just a facilitator. Yeah, I just be with them. Y'all, y'all yeah. get to know each other. Technically, legally, I got to be with them. Right. But everybody really just everybody know them. Just, I'm, I'm in more the like shadow. a manager of exactly. the other letters. Yeah. I'm going to come capital because they give me the paperwork. You can email me, but right, you're going to be talking to them. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be talking to them. All right. Who you got? Uh, actors, right? Yep. Steve Harris. Wood Harris's older brother. Wood Harris's older brother, the villain in Diary of a Mad Black Woman. He been holding down the ball game for right. a long, since Sugar Hill with Wesley Snipes. <laughs> long time. Yeah, so. for a long time. Well, for sure, he been with us. Yeah, ball. Love Steve Harris. Now, what about Sam Jackson? Yeah, Sam Jackson counts. He always be rocking wigs though. That's what I feel like. Why? Why is he not coming in my mind as ball? Because he be wigging it up. He be wigging it up. He always got a wig on. He don't be bald in the movies that much, no. but he's bald. He's by you. He had a wig on. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's always a wig uh, piece. Can't, can't, Pulp uh, Fiction, he had the Jerry Curl wig. Yeah. That was a wig? Yeah. Oh, no, because coming to America, he was out here for real. Yeah, that was the real him. That was the <laughs> Coming to America he when he was robbing the McDowell's, that was the real He Sam looked like Jack. he needed it. Mm. I was like, man, just give it to him, y'all. Look yeah. at him. Look how he's dressed. Yeah. He didn't deserve to go to jail. No, nah, man. He needed but it. But even uh uh 
What is like most famous character with Leonardo DiCaprio and Jamie Foxx? What's that movie? Uh, Django. Django. And Jane? Big wig. That ain't his most famous character though. Outside of Jules, no. Nah. What? Nick Fury. Oh, I don't. I don't really count that for stuff. Because I, I don't feel like Sam was really doing nothing but being Sam with a but patch that's still, on. That's still... I'm talking about like character work as an actor. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, well, that's different. That's what I'm saying. Like most famous oh, character. Okay, gotcha, like gotcha. For, for, for Nick Fury for sure. But yeah. like, I'm not even saying he wasn't acting, but he just was like he right. was Sam. Yeah. In Candy, I mean, uh, I keep saying in Candyland. I, Django I and Chain, he was acting. He was acting. He was somebody good. Else. Like he I was, was somebody like, I else. actually hate you, Sam. Yeah. Like. You don't even really look like Sam that much. Like you, I know it's Sam, but it's like he has played the same version right. of stuff for a long time. Yeah. But then he like in in Glass and all those, he was he was acting good. Right. He and had a wig on. And he had a wig. He See, did. man, this he's... Black Snake Moan. This might be the real. <laughs> this might be the real him. Black Snake Moan. He was out here. <laughs> this might be the real him. I don't know. It sounds like seventy six. <laughs> 76, what you mean? Years old. Oh, oh wow. Sam is I thought you was talking about the year. He's no, 76. Sam is like 76. He let looks, me let me double check. Fantastic, man. I love looking stuff up. I love looking stuff up. Mace window, he was big ball. Big ball is Mace. Mm -hmm. Sam is 75. He He'll looks be great. 76 this year. Ball, ball actually makes you look younger. It look makes you look way younger than trying to hold on yeah, to what's not there. For sure. And the Beijing, bro, we know. Stop it. We know, dog. You you can be old. Just, you 55 just, plus, just bro. Let it happen. You can. Just let it happen. Embrace you can. It. Nobody's gonna be mad. Embrace it. All right, you got one more, Tone. Let me ask you this: if he qualifies, Bruce Willis. I say certainly. Because he had a lot of hair rolls a... back in the day. Was John he Mc... bald in Pulp Fiction? Yes. He wasn't bald in Die Hard. No. He he be, he became bald in the fourth Die Hard. Okay. He was bald then. But his hair his hair was given up a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, I feel like he barely even he, had hair. And then he embraced it. He, he had hair in the sixth sense, though. Okay. This is the problem with Bruce. His career is so long. Right. And, and, and this is, I'm not even trying to be funny. He had them, the string of really bad movies before he found out he was sick. Oh, yeah. Uh, he was just doing stuff. Yeah, he was just was, working. He was just working. Yeah. They, they was, you know what I'm saying? But as a bald, man, Pulp Fiction is strong. Oh, yeah. That's strong. He looks great bald, too. He does. He's good he white looks man bald. great bald. <clears throat> What's his bald? Let's look it up real quick. He was in red, bald-headed. Wasn't he in Unbreakable? He Unbreakable, was bald. he's bald. He sure, he sure was. That was good for late in the career. Yeah. <clears throat> he got the good head shape for the ball. Good head shape for the ball. Hold on. Filmography. Let's see. Dang, I forgot about Look Who's Talking. Okay, we're not going to do these. He man, he had like 10 movies in 2022. Yeah, all, all, all that stuff he was doing late in his career, I couldn't yeah. keep up. Glass. Once you, once you straight the video, I'm out. <laughs> and Netflix is kind of. Netflix is turning into Oh, uh, Sin City he was bald. He was bald. He in was Sin bald City. in Sin City. Yeah. Looper. He was bald. Yep. Big bald. Expendable. Looper's good. He been bald for a long he time. He been bald. He been bald. I would give you Bruce. Okay. He's had enough. Let's get it. All right. So Let's I think that rounded it out. We got Jason Alexander, Damon Wayans, Charles S. Dutton, Jason Statham, Sherman Helmsley, The Rock, John. John Monhounsu, Steve Harris, Sam Jackson, Bruce Willis. That's a Top good list. Bald actors. That's a good list. You're going to be adding Tony Baker and Kev on stage. Yes. Buddy comedy's coming soon. Come on. Y'all just. No sip. wigs. No wigs. Unless we do a flashback scene and it's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> That's funny too. Remember, remember when we was, in, uh, we was at the community college? <laughs> oh. Cut to. We just got the wigs on. Huh? Did, you, did, you, did you turn in your. Uh, <laughs> let me borrow your Scantron. <laughs> Y'all, keep doing it. Keep <laughs> keep rocking with us, man. Let us build this thing slow and steady. You're going to get the stuff with Tony Cat. All right, man. Patreon, we love you. We're going to do another episode. Everybody else, we'll see you next week. Yeah.